Make equivalent fractions. The directions read to find the missing number that makes these fractions equal. Two thirds equals four something. Well, let's open that scratch pad and let's draw a rectangle to represent my whole. And let's draw two thirds. So two thirds, I'm gonna draw two lines. There are one, two, three equal parts and two parts are shaded. Now let's draw the same sized hole below it. Let's cut it into thirds again and shade in two of them. But we want four pieces shaded. So now let's cut each one of these parts in half. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. So there are one, two, three, four parts shaded and six total parts. So let's close that scratch pad and type in six. Nice work. We have two thirds equals six something. So let's open that scratch pad. Let's restart that. And let's draw a rectangle to represent our whole. This time, we'll split it into thirds again. We're gonna shade two pieces. Now, let's draw the same equal sized hole below it because they're equal. Let's split it into thirds. And this time we want our two pieces to be six. So two, four, six. So instead we're gonna partition or cut each one of these into three parts. One, two, three. This now, one now has three. And this one now has three. So we wanna shade in exactly the same amount. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six are shaded and there's seven, eight, nine pieces. So two thirds is the same as six ninths. Nice work. Now find the missing number that makes these fractions equal. Let's do the same thing. Let's draw our rectangle. Three fourths are denominators of four. So we're gonna partition or cut this into four equal parts. And it wants us to shade in three. So one, two, three. Now we're gonna to go to the bottom and we're gonna draw this same sized rectangle, cut it in the same places, but they want us to do six. Well, three is double what six is. So we're gonna cut each one of these in half. That would give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to make sure that we shade the same amount and make sure that there's six shaded. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. They both equal up to the same place. So this would be six eights. So close that scratch pad, type in eight. Super job. Find the missing number that makes these fractions equal. So let's use our scratch pad. Let's draw a rectangle. And this says four sixths. So we know we need to cut this into six equal parts. If we do six, I usually do thirds. And then I cut each third in half. And then we can color in four. One, two, three, four. We know the other denominator is three. So let's take this rectangle, make it the same size. And this time we're gonna partition it in thirds in the same spots. And we need to shade in the same amount. So we need to shade up to this line. So we can shade this part in and this part in. Well, that's one, two of the three parts. So two thirds is equal to four sixths. Now we have three fourths equals how many eighths? So we're gonna draw again. 
We're gonna partition or cut this into four, so I cut them in half, and then I cut each side in half, and we're gonna shade in th one, two, three. The next one tells us we know what our denominator is, so we're gonna partition the same size rectangle. I'm gonna cut them into fours, just like I did before. And now eights would mean that they're in half, each one is in half. So now we have, let's just count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts, and we wanna shade up to this line so they're the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's close that scratch pad and type in six. Nice work. Find the missing number that makes these fractions equal. So let's do the same thing and draw our fraction bar, we're gonna do sixth, the denominator is sixth, so I'm gonna partition it into thirds, and then cut each third in half to make six, and we know there's four, so one, two, three, four, and then we know that we only want two pieces shaded, so our denominator is gonna have to be smaller than six, so let's partition it into thirds again, and let's see if we shade these two, one, two. Well, that's one, two, three equal parts. So this would be three. Awesome job. Now we have three fourths equals six something. So let's use that scratch pad again. Let's make our rectangle. We're doing fourths, so in half, in half again. And then one, two, three. Let's draw another hole and let's partition it in half. Well, three is double what six is, so three, there we go. So let's shade in six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It matches up right here and there are two pieces left, so six, seven, eight equal pieces. Correct. Three over something equals nine over 12. So a little secret, if you're good at multiplication by now, is that we can use multiplication. Three times something equals nine. Well, three times three equals nine. So if we're doing three times three, on the top, we should do three times three on the bottom. So something times three equals 12. Well, four times three equals 12. Let's try it with, with multiplication again. Use our scratch pad. Three times what equals six? Well, three times two equals six. So we need to multiply the bottom, so something times two equals eight. Well, four times two equals eight. So three fourths equals six eighths. And last one, two thirds equals three, or two thirds equals six something. So two times what equals six? Two, four, six. So two times three equals six. So we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Three times three, well three times three equals nine. Great job. Thanks for helping me make equivalent fractions.